So after this, what I would like to do is have everyone uncurl through the spine slowly, and we're going to come to a pose called Dragonfly. What you're going to do is you're going to take your hand onto your right shin, and you're going to take your other arm, your left arm, up to the side. So this is the first time you've seen side bending in the end. And as a variation or a modification, you can put one hand down on the mat and simply let your head fall. And you see an exercise like this in waking energy when we do seaweed. That's more active, it's more young. And this is moving at a glacial pace. It's really the way ice would move in a very, very, almost imperceptible flow, very slow. And if you want to be more advanced about this, you can actually reach over to your foot and hang this way, as long as you keep that opposite hip rooted. Deep, deep breaths. So gently, we're going to come up out of this, and I'm going to remind you right now that you can hold that pose up to five minutes, as long as you take it slowly. Coming over to the other side, starting here for the modification, just letting the weight of your head and your side body fall down to the floor. So as you're stretching in this position, you'll feel all of the deep connective tissue giving way. And really, you don't feel the full benefits of a yin practice until you finish it and you stand up. And you start to notice how incredibly fluid and mobile you feel. As we age, one of the other great things about the yin practice is that it reconstitutes the synovial fluid in your joints. As we get older, that fluid or that cushioning in our ball and socket joints, the knee, the shoulder, the hips, diminishes. And this practice, because it juices the joints, actually reestablishes that ratio so that you don't have arthritis, you don't suffer from that kind of pain. You can actually stave that off. So we're going to come out of the side bend, inhaling up. Exhale, take stock of the energy that's moving. Carefully draw the legs together. Bounce the legs out. We would come to child's pose here, but instead, we're going to move on to the next meridian pair, which is the liver gallbladder. This speaks to a number of different things. Um, the emotion that's connected to it is anger. So don't be surprised if when you're going into these poses, you start to feel restless or cranky. Instead of moving out of the pose, try to stay with it. So what we're going to do is shoelace. Kim is going to demonstrate ankle to knee, which is an alternative. And Rick is going to demonstrate eye of the needle. So he's going to be on his back. I'll start with you first, Rick. He's going to lie down, and he's going to cross his right ankle over his left knee. He's going to thread his arms through, and he's going to draw both knees towards him. So believe it or not, he holds this pose for up to five or ten minutes, and it feels lovely. It targets the liver and gallbladder meridians. Kim, you're going to come into ankle to knee. And she's also going to show you a modification. If you're coming into this pose, which looks like this, and your knee is high from restriction, which is very common, you can place a towel between the knee and the ankle to cushion it. So that as you start to melt like taffy, as we said before, you'll have something underneath to kind of absorb it, like a shock absorber. And I am going to show you the most advanced variation, which is shoelace. So, I'm literally going to thread my knees the way you would a shoelace, bringing the feet out from underneath me, being very cautious with the knees. And I'm going to pull the knees closer together. And then I'm going to sit upright and pull the top knee towards me. What I'm feeling right now is quite an intense stretch in the sides of the hips. It feels really great, actually. And I'm going to send my breath to those areas, and I might stay in this position for up to five or six breaths, maybe even five minutes. And as I start to melt, I would fold forward the way Kim is, bringing my hands down and maybe resting my forehead on my knee. That's an option. 